The Patriot victory at Yorktown was one of the most important of the Revolutionary War. It was the moment that independence became inevitable. But Yorktown wouldn't have been possible without the Battle of the Chesapeake. In 1781, the Patriots weren't fighting alone anymore. They were joined by the French army. And more importantly, the power of the French Navy meant they could finally match the British at sea. George Washington favored a major offensive to retake New York, but the French army commander, Comte de Rochambeau, thought otherwise. The British were bogged down in Virginia. If they could be cut off from the sea, they'd be trapped. Rochambeau wrote to French naval commander, the Comte de Grasse, telling him to sail to Chesapeake Bay. The British quickly realized the French plan. A major fleet, under the command of Admiral Graves, raced south from New York, hoping to take command of Chesapeake Bay. But as soon as they rounded the Virginia Cape on September 5th, they saw that their rivals had beaten them to it. Both sides readied themselves for battle. Most of the day was spent jockeying for position. Graves was in command of 19 warships, and with the wind behind them, they could maneuver more easily. But the French had five more ships than the British. A big advantage. The first shots were fired in the afternoon. Then the fighting raged. While the British ships fired on the hulls of the enemy, the French aimed at masts and rigging. It worked. At least two of the British ships fell out of the line, no longer steerable. After more than two hours of close quarters battle, six British ships had sustained heavy damage, but the French only two. Sunset brought a pause in the fighting, but the next morning, Graves decided he was too outnumbered to try another attack. As his fleet set course to return to New York, they weren't just leaving Chesapeake Bay behind them. They were abandoning any hope for the British Southern Army, consigning them to their devastating defeat at Yorktown. 